Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwadner. Welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Stu Heinecke. And he is the author of a wonderful new book, How to Get a Meeting with Anyone. In essence, you are also, you started your career as a cartoonist. Uh, tell me about that. Wow. Well, um, it's, it's both cartooning and marketing. I was looking at the cartoons and saying, wow. Who are these guys? Who are these guys? How do they do this? This is incredible, because you always have that sense of something just happened, something's happening, and something's about to happen. And there's a real, there's a whole story being being told and, and unfolding in those single panels. So they're they're amazing, and I just kept doodling, I kept playing with it, and and, and just uh, taught myself how to do it. And eventually, I was I was a member of the Cartoonist Guild. And the Cartoonist Guild sent me something that changed my life. Or it, was a, it was a reprint of an article from Folio Magazine, and they were talking about how powerful cartoons are. They're just amazing. What they said in the article was that readership surveys that have been conducted by magazines and newspapers from all, just constantly have been finding that cartoons are almost always the best read, <coughs> pardon me, almost always the best read and remembered part of the magazines or, or newspapers are in. So how did you make that uh, connection between getting the attention through a cartoon, through getting the attention in marketing? How did you merge those two? People I was meeting with at, at their offices, I would often see cartoons, you know, up on the wall with whiteout, remember whiteout? So the, the name in the cartoon caption would be whited out and they put their name in or their, their husband's name, their, their wife's name, something like that. I thought, you know, people really would like to see cartoons about themselves. Right. And so that, that became that device. That's been the central device in everything that I've done, well, most of the things that I've done since, certainly in marketing. Can you share a story with me where you have gained entry to a very, very busy person by just using your approach? The first two clients that I, I got were Rolling Stone and Bon Appetit. So for each of those magazines, I created a direct mail campaign um, that was to te be tested against their control. And one of them was a renewal piece, another one was an acquisition piece. Well, so this, these, these things were mailed out and both of the tests beat the controls. So I thought, well, okay, you know, what I need to do next is, because I wanna get out, I wanna spread this to the rest of the publishing industry is, I wanna get it out to, uh, you know, all of the big Manhattan-based publishers at least. And that meant reaching out to about two dozen VPs and directors of circulation or, or consumer marketing. And the, the campaign consisted of a cartoon, each one about each recipient, um, and then a letter saying, this is the device I just used to beat control for Bon Appetit and Rolling Stone. And really, we had to put it to the test for your titles as well. All of those publishers became clients. And that is the essence of contact marketing. That's what I call a big board, where right? this is the outer package of right. And inside, is is a, this big kind of like a postcard almost and so there's a cartoon there's these two guys in the office and one is saying it's an original idea but Gerhard Geschwantner had it originally and I would send that to you right and then on the back is you know it could be anything but it's because it's, it's a giant postcard so there's branding and there's a there's a message from the sender to the recipient explaining why that meeting should take place and what I was finding was that I was breaking through to presidents and prime ministers um, and CEOs, and most importantly, um, CEOs, C-level executives and top decision makers, just really countless people. So how have sales managers benefited from that? You're in charge of this team that is supposed to go out and generate revenue for the business. You're in a really high stakes, high pressure position. This one client I, just, I have in, in the insurance business told me about this and leading up to a test that I'm going to tell you about. Um, what they said was that these relationships are really rather cold because the producers have, have, they have a lot of lines of insurance to sell. And, uh, and what they'll say, if, they, if the rep tries to get in touch with them and meet with them, you know, they'll pick up the phone. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you what. I know what you guys sell. Right. If they need that, I'll call you. And, you know... That was it. So we used the big boards to get in touch with, with, uh, with inactive producers, producers that really weren't picking up the phone much. So we went out to 30 people for the test, and all but one 
responded. And I mean, and by responding, I mean, they called up, they picked the phone, hey, I got that thing, hey, they, or they, they sent a letter, they sent an email. A couple of them took selfies with the big board and, and sent it and said, oh my God, I got it. Thank you so much. And let, yeah, let's get together. Let's talk, let's, let's get together over lunch or something. So universally, that was the response, except for one. How do you help people? You, you design uh, direct marketing pieces for them. Uh, you consult with them. You, you develop cartoons for them. Uh, do you actually teach them on how to do it? We have a course that we've uh, we partner with NASP.com or to produce a new uh, behavioral program called the, the Power of Contact Marketing. If they just want to follow me, they can they can follow me on Twitter. They can send me an email. My email address is stuheinick at gmail.com. Pretty simple. Um, they can find the agency at, at contactmarketing.agency. And they can find the, the, uh, the behavioral program, the training program at nasp.com.